I'm Dr. Tom Mather, the Tick Guy from the University of Rhode Island. Take it from the Tick Guy. One little episode is all it takes to get a tick. I've got to wonder just what kind of prevention disc golfers think about. I mean, sure, you could throw your arm out, you could trip in a hole or something like that. But, you know, from my perspective, disc golf courses are just havens for tick. We call it tick habitat. And people that play disc golf are interested in finding their disc after they've thrown it, but they don't really seem to pay too much attention to the ticks they're probably sitting right next to the disc that they're reaching down for. So it really is imperative that disc golfers in particular recognize that they may be at risk for ticks and there's easy, easy things that they can do to protect themselves. One, they should spray their shoes with permethrin. They should wear permethrin treated socks um, because the ticks that are out in the disc golf course are mostly gonna crawl up from the ground. Um, if you're not busy looking at that, um, then you're going to probably end up with a tick higher up in your groin area, um, maybe later, and no one likes to think about that. Why not just take some easy preventive steps like wearing permethrin-treated clothing, um, maybe tucking your socks into your, your cuffs into your socks and maybe tucking your shirt tail in as well. Um, you'll go a long way to protecting yourself from tick bites that could cause illness and keep you away from the sport that you love. So let's just say you've packed up your discs in the car and you've driven over to the course and you're ready to go play and you see a sign like this right here, warning tick habitat. Feel free to scan this QR code. It'll tell you three things that you can do right now, right while you're standing here. You don't have to go home and, and do something special. It'll tell you to tuck your shirt tail in, tell you to tuck your cuffs into your socks. It'll tell you to sort of avoid bumping into the edges of the habitat so that that's where the ticks are likely to be waiting for you. And it also will tell you what kind of ticks are likely to be in your area at the time that you're playing so you know what size of tick to look for. And so those three things right there should help you stay safer. In addition to the things that you could do right now while you're standing here, keep scrolling down and you'll see what you can do when you get home to help protect yourself. It'll show you some resources that you can use if you find a tick, like our Tick Spotters program. You can have an, a tick expert identify the tick for you. So be sure to scan the code and use the resources. It's like having a tick expert right with you, even when you're playing disc golf.